Hello everyone. Today I want to explain what is the linear differential equation is and how we can solve them. First, what is the methodology? Differential equation is said to be linear if the dependent variable and its derivatives occur only in the first degree and are not multiplied together. The general form of a linear differential equation of the first order is dy over dx plus py equal to q, where p and q functions of x only or maybe constants. Equation 1 is also known as Leibniz linear equation. You must focus on this condition, which is occur only in the first degree and are not multiplied together. Okay. Integration factor which we need to solve the equation is p e to the power integration of p dx and y equal to 1 over integration factor integration of qx times integration factor dx plus c. This is a required solution. We have to note. Note 1 is a general form of linear differential equation dy over dx plus py equal to q. The coefficient of dy dx always must be 1. If we have the equation in this form r dy dx, we must divide the equation by r to get the general uh, standard form. Not two. Sometimes a differential equation takes linear form if we regard x as dependent variable and y as independent variable. The equation can then be put as dx dy, not dy dx, if, uh, if it dx dy plus px instead of py equal to q, where pq are function of y only or constants. The integration factor in this case is e to the power integration p dy not dx, p dy, and the solution is x equal to 1 over integration factor, integration qy, integration factor dy plus c. Let's solve an example to be more clear. For example, we have uh, this equation, e to the power minus 2 square root of x over square root of x minus y over square root of x times dx dy equal to 1. Solution. This equation can be written as dy over dx plus y over square root of x equal to e to the power minus 2 square root of x over square root of x. Now, comparing with the standard form, dy dx plus py equal to q, we see that p equal to 1 over square root of x and q equal to e to the power minus 2 square root of x over square root of x. q must be only the function of x, p also. So we just take 1 over square root of x. Now we have to find integration factor, which is equal to e to the power integration p dx, becomes e to the power integration 1 over square root of x dx. Integration of 1 over square root of x is 2 square root of x. So integration factor is e to the power 2 square root of x. Now that is the solution uh, of the equation. Just substitute this value q integration factor and uh, integrate it. We can get the solution. So 1 over integration factor is e to the power 2 square root of x. Integration e to the power minus 2x over square root of x, which is q. That's q, as you see in this equation. Times integration factor. Integration factor is e to the power... 2 times square root of x dx plus c. Okay, this two term e my e to the power minus 2 square root of x times e to the power 2 square root of x cancel each other. It remains only 1 over integration factor times 1 over square root of x dx. It's easily we can integrate this uh, term 1 over square root of x and it becomes. Integration factor times integration of 1 over square root of x is 2 square root of x plus c. That is the required solution. That's all. I hope it can be helpful. Have a nice time.